Tube back at it again with the 40 foot container semi trailer by Kamaya. This video, we're going to do step 17, which is build our bumper, and step 18, which is install, build, and install the animal guard for uh, um, the sides. So, first things first, let's go ahead and build our bumper. Um, I have everything set aside right here, like normal. And this time, hopefully, I can not lose all my screws and stuff. <clears throat> so, what we're going to pull out for this one is two um, Q, well, I guess they're not the same, a Q13, a Q14, a J7, a J8, and your bumper, which is a mysterious number that they're not going to tell me. It's in your chrome tree. Um, that's your bumper. Your J7 and J6. And then your Q13 and Q14. Uh, it's pretty simple to install. Got all my hardware sitting in this little bag here. Or the little container. Um, your J's just go on. Like so. They only go on one way. You can see they have three holes. Your bumper has three holes, so your three holes here line up with your three holes in your bumper. So, set that down like that, and that goes on with your BC12, which is the longer uh, stainless looking self tapping screws. Uh, they just screw in. This is the time you would, you would install all your lights and everything. Before you did this step, I don't have the light kit. I build all my own usually. So I'm just going to build this and I'll take it apart and redo it when it's time for me to put my light kit in. So run these screws down. There's going to be six of them. Um, and then pause you and do all six real quick and then we'll get back and we'll finish up uh, the rest of this bumper. Alright, we got the covers on. We're going to go ahead and install our arms. Now according to the instructions, this four hole side, um, you can see the four screw holes, goes, on the, goes upside of the trailer. So it goes like this on the trailer. So when you're installing your bumper arms, you want to make sure you install them so that they're pointing up. So that they're pointing towards the four screw side. Those just go on with a couple of the uh, self tapping core started screws. Um, what are they? BA7. They're the uh, 3x8 mil. Four of them go in. Two on each side. Alright. And then we will uh, install the bumper next. You're going to need uh, to do the bumper onto the truck. You're going to need a BC1, four of them, they're the uh, 3 by 12 mil machine thread screws, and four lock nuts, or uh, flange nuts. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. It was worth a shot. So give me a second, I'm going to finish this up, and then we'll uh, move on to the next step. All right, we're back. Um, so our bumper just drops in and sits down like this. You can see there's two holes uh, right here and here. That's what we're going to secure into using these four uh, machine screws. Make sure you lock tight them because uh, because you don't want them to fall out, obviously. But again, you are using your flange 
flange nut, which in my opinion holds really tight. And I've never had one fall out on my other trailer. So. One of those start on that side. Start on this side. That way they're uniform. Last two on, Loctite. Alrighty, well, this is fine to me. So let me go ahead and finish this up real quick off camera, and I'll uh, prep to go ahead and do the mud, the animal guard. So one second. All right, got all that done. It's out of the way now. So we're off to build the animal guards, um, or the side guards, the animal guards. What you need for this is two H ones. They're on your chrome parts tree. You need a P4, two of them, and then you also need four of your P9s of these little, uh, basically just anchors to hold your P9 to your H1s. Um, you can see that there's groove here, and then this guy be hard to see but it's got a groove here and another one right there which just accommodates your your uh, hold down and then it goes together with four of the uh, BB5s they're the 10 uh, the 2 mil by 6 um, you just put four of them in two in each hold down I already built the one side, so I'm just going to finish up with this side real quick, and we'll pull the trailer up, and we'll put on our we'll put on our uh, wheel chalk holder and your spare tire holder. Excuse me. Alrighty, so let's set that aside, pull up the trailer, now with this trailer, you've got a set of holes here, two holes here, and another set over here. These front two and these back two are what hold your um, trailer into place, or your guards into place. These middles here are what holds your chalk, your block, and your uh, spare tire hold on. Now those get Loctite because they are going into the frame. So if you're not Loctiting everything, at least Loctite these because they are just directly screwed into the frame. There's no nut or anything attached to them. And be careful and make sure you thread them right or else you'll strip the frame and you'll have to get longer screws to accommodate a nut. Just do that part on the ground so give me a second to go find it. Alright, found it. Sent it all the way across the room. So as I was saying, you just want to make sure you're being very careful when you're doing these. 
So put both your little screws in, get it lined up. Slowly turn. If you meet any resistance, stop turning the screw and back it out and try and recenter it and reseat it. So, just like that. Um, those two are parts E4 and P6. So, um, P6 is also going to get a P8 which is this guy here. It goes in it to make it so you can put your spare tire on. And it just held in place with a standard screw and some washers. Which I am fresh out of, so I'm not going to install that right now. So, once you've done that one, you take your guard, that sits in place right there, and that's going to be held on by um, two BA4s, which are the longer machine screws, and they get a flange nut. So what I do is I put a little Loctite on, grab my flange nut, kind of get that one started on the front of this one here. And again, throwing stuff on the ground. On the front one here, the flange nut, get them started. That'll help hold it in place for you to get the last two on. So you'll see, push that nut, up, that screw up into the chassis or into the up so you can get into underneath it hold the nut and screw it down just a little tight you don't want to go too tight and that holds that in place so you can put your inside ones on Like so. And again, don't screw them down too tight until you're sure everything's lined up because then you're just backing screws off to get everything in and adjust it proper. So I'm going to put that last one in real quick, get it tightened up. But we are basically done with the trailer except for putting on our hold downs for our container, which we'll do it when we start building the container ship. For the actual container vessel. So uh, that's it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Uh, Speedy Mix signing off.